Excellency, Honorable William Samoy Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander in Chief of the Defense Forces, um, I need to recognize the nominated uh, uh, CSs, um, Professor Juguna Dungu, who will be uh, hopefully uh, in the National Treasury <laughs> after the requisite. Uh, uh, interrogations have taken place. Of course, uh, um, the nominated uh, CS for, for ICT, Eliud Owalo, um, there he is. Um, there are other members uh, that, uh, that I need to also mention, but I would want to mention the specifically um, John Gashora, the group CEO or group managing director in CBA, Paul Russo, uh, group Managing Director, KCB, Peter Ndegwa, CEO of Safaricom, Michael Joseph, who has been everywhere <laughs> and uh, <laughs> remains everywhere. Thank you very much. The others in the room, Governor Nanok, others, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here um, as KCB and CBA and Safaricom announced important changes on the Fuliza overdraft product. Since it is its launch in 2019, Fuliza has become a critical part of the financial lives of millions of Kenyans, given its mobile, its mobile phone-centric delivery channel. Kenyans are very much in the mobile phones, much more than anyone else, else around the world. Now, the fin access survey that we conducted in 2021, two years after the launch, after the launch of uh, the Fuliza product, indicated that over five million Kenyans had accessed Fuliza in the preceding 12 months. Five million. And this is a testament that the product is meeting the needs of Kenyans, particularly for short-term bridging finance. Your Excellency, I was talking to my barber about Fuliza. Uh, I need to talk to him for other reasons as well. You know. uh, um, and I asked him an important, how important is Fuliza to you? I asked him. And he replied emphatically, very important. And that's when he told me this example that I've communicated to uh, Peter. If your child is sick, it's at night, you go to the pharmacy, you have 1,000 shillings, you go to the pharmacy, and then they charge, you go to the till, and the cost is 1,070. What do you do? You don't have 70. You cannot take half the medicine back. So what do you do? And his point was, that's when Fuliza comes in. So I can Fuliza for 70, and then I'll sort myself out in the next two, three days. So that's how important it is. I guess uh, it is Im important for us to see that there's a, seg uh, there's a large segment of our population that in the end will become income constrained in that, or liquidity constrained at a very critical point, and that's when Fuliza comes in. Now, given the three-year track record of the product, our review is very much in order. The Central Bank of Kenya therefore welcomes the um, this restructuring of the product, including the pricing changes announced today. In our view, this is but a first step in ensuring that the cost is affordable and draws more Kenyans into the financial services net. And as we know, a journey of 1,000 miles starts but with a single step. The appetite for credit amongst Kenyans remains high as evidenced by the Fin Access Survey. Uptake of credit between 2016 and 2021 rose much faster compared to the savings rate. However, the cost of credit has been a major concern for Kenyans. Various initiatives are underway to address these concerns. We have listened. We will act. For the banking sector, CPK issued the banking, 
Banking Sector Charter in 2019 with four key pillars, customer centricity, risk-based credit pricing, transparency, and ethical banking. In particular, the risk-based credit pricing pillar seeks to ensure that banks' cost of credit is aligned to the risk profile of borrowers and is affordable. Implementation of risk-based credit pricing is well underway in the Kenyan banking sector. This has been supported by reforms to the credit information sharing mechanisms effected through the uh, Banking um, Credit Reference Bureau regulations of 2020. We've listened and action is on the way. Your Excellency, we have an ecosystem that we have to preserve. We have an ecosystem that we have to make grow. We have an ecosystem of products, pricing, etc., that really has to transform the lives of Kenyans. And this is really what we've listened to. We've listened, we are going to act on it. Finally, I challenge banks, payment service providers, and other actors in the financial ecosystem on three fronts. First, the customer must remain at the center of all that you do. This needs, uh, their needs must drive all financial services and products. As you know, Your Excellency, um, on the 17th of this month, we began firmly regulating the digital credit providers that have been a problem in this country. So all that business of them calling you or calling, uh, let's say, a customer, a borrower, and demanding um, that the payment be done using an ethical means, that is a thing of the past. <laughs> Second, the products and services should be accessible and not just from a delivery channel perspective, but also affordable. So the importance of affordability. Thirdly, and ultimately, it's about uplifting the lives and livelihoods of our citizens. Your Excellency, we are in this country, we've listened, we are acting on it. It's now my distinct honor to welcome you, Your Excellency, to make your remarks. I ask you to stand up. Yes, sir.